Thank you for joining this lesson. We are going to hand off photo emission, whereby we are going to look at a calculation which says that light of wavelength 4.3 times 10 to the power of negative 7 meters is incident on two different metal surfaces, nickel and potassium. Take speed of light as 3.0 times 10 to the power of 8 meters per second and Planck's constant H as 6.63 .6 times 10 to the power of negative 34 joule seconds. Then you are told to first determine the energy of the incident radiation. So this incident radiation possesses energy according to the equation energy equals to Planck's constant times fre frequency of the radiation. And now that we don't have frequency, we can follow the equation which says that the speed of light is given by frequency times wavelength, which means we can get which means we can get a frequency by having C divided by wavelength. So instead of wavelength, instead of frequency, we can have C divided by the wavelength. So energy content can also be provided by Planck's constant times C out of wavelength instead of having frequency there. So trying to substitute this, we'll have 6.63 times 10 to the power of negative 34. Then this one is multiplied by 3.0 times 10 to the power of 8. And we divide with the wavelength of this incident right, 4.3 times 10 to the power of negative 7. Therefore now what we'll get here is energy in joules. So the energy can be calculated by 6.63 times 10 raised to negative 34, then multiplied by 3 times 10 raised to 8. This one is divided by 4.3 times 10 raised to negative 7. So this gives us 4.626. Times 10 raised to negative 19 joules because it is energy. So the energy is 4.626 times 10 raised to negative 19. Then we are told the work function of nickel is 8.0 times 10 to the power of negative 19 joules and that of potassium 3.68 times 10 to the power of negative 19 joules. State with a reason from which of the two metals the given light will eject electrons. Mm -hmm. So electrons are going to be ejected from a metal surface if and only if the, the light is having energy content which is above the work function of the metal. Therefore, work function is the minimum energy required for electrons to be ejected from the metal surface. And because nickel requires 8.0 times 10 power negative 19, and the light, which is incident, is having 4.626 times 10 power negative 19, then this energy is below the work function. And that means on the nickel metal surface, this light cannot cause photoemission, or rather, electrons will not be ejected. But on potassium, which, which is requiring only 3.68 times 10 to the power of ne negative 19, then photoemission is going to occur. And we are going to say it is on potassium. So here we state potassium. This is because this is because potassium has a work function which is smaller which is less than the energy of the light, which is less than the energy of the light, which means that light is able to cause photoemission. And finally, we're given another question here. Determine the velocity of the emitted electrons from the metal surface. We should know very well that uh, the electrons have energy 
which is equal to the kinetic energy possessed by those electrons. So we are saying that the total energy of the light is split into two such that part of it provides work function and the other part of the energy becomes kinetic energy by which the electrons will be moving it. Therefore, we will say that the energy which we have uh, the energy which we have is equal to work function then the other part of the energy becomes half m mass of an electron times velocity of the electrons squared therefore the energy we have is 4.626 times 10 power negative 19 this one should be equal to the work function for this metal, which is 3.68 times 10 to the power of negative 19. Then the other part of the energy becomes kinetic, that is a half times the mass of an electron, 9.1 times 10 negative 31 multiplied by velocity squared. So here we can subtract this work function on this side so that we may get the exact amount which becomes the exact amount which becomes a kinetic energy minus 3.68 times 10 to the power of negative 19 and this will be 9.4558 times 10 to the power of negative 20. This one is equal to a half, a half multiplied by, you can have it as a, a half multiplied by 9, 1 times 10 power negative 31, V squared. So to remain with V squared, to remain with V squared, we can simply divide this side with a half times 9.1. So we divide answer. We can have a answer divided by 0 0.5 times 9.1 times 10 to the power of negative 31. And this will give us 2.078 times 10 raised to 11. So that now, if that was v squared, then to get v will be the square root of this answer, which is a four point five five nine multiplied by ten raised to the power of one two three four five ten power five meters per second. Therefore, that is how we calculate the velocity of the emitted electrons. Thank you for following. Subscribe to this channel and share the link.